Hi, welcome to Magnus Drones. I'm Jim. Thanks for finding my channel. And as always, if you're a subscriber, I appreciate you staying with me. This morning, I'm going to go through the steps on how to set up and fly a hyperlapse. I've been doing quite a few lately, and this morning we're going to catch a sunrise. So if you're a drone pilot and it's something you haven't done yet, uh, certainly encourage you to try it out and just take the first steps and go through them and uh, make corrections. Uh, it's what I'm doing and uh, I know there's a lot of great information out there. So I hope you get something out of this video this morning. And uh, if you don't fly a drone, I just hope you enjoy watching the hyperlapse. So let's go flying. There we go. Get screen record started. I got the drone started up, up takeoffs permitted. I'm going to turn on my uh, strobe lights. Those are bright. <clears throat> I have two of those firehouse. I actually put both of them on top. Just something I'm trying out. <clears throat> I'm going to hit record. I just always like to record the drone when it's in the air. So let's get started. I just want to check a couple of settings. Return to home altitude. Max altitude. Break. Everything looks good there. I like to put an ND filter on, and it's not the darkest, it's an ND8. So when I'm taking the altitude up, I'm going to take it up to about 350 feet. There we go, a little more. Okay. Uh, I'm looking for where the sun's actually going to come up out of the sky. I'm actually trying to frame my shot, so I'm looking for where I think the sun's going to come up over the horizon. And it's a different day. That's a thing when you're doing these, and you're sometimes uh, like the morning clouds, as you can see there. I can't quite see. It's a little early, but I I like to go down, go up range to start my hyperlapse. Um, everybody does it differently, of course, and uh, for me, what I like to have happen is when the hyperlapse is completed, the drone's close to me. If I were to start the hyperlapse from uh, the takeoff spot, <clears throat> and I'm going, uh, you know, then the drone's going to be out of sight by the time I'm finished. So I'm going to take it back somewhere around 1,500 feet. I can still see the drone at that distance, and then I've got my strobe lights going. There we go. So I'm going to finish just kind of framing the shot a little bit because I don't want to be moving the camera, moving the drone around. I've been here before, and the angle that you see <clears throat> on the screen and is uh, about where the sun's going to come up. So I'm going to stop my recording, and then I'm going to tap the little icon <clears throat> above the start-stop that looks like a film strip. And that'll open up my menu. The right column, I scroll, scroll down, there's hyperlapse. So I'll type hyperlapse. And you can see the next window comes up. 
And you see the choices in the hyperlapse. There's free, circle, course lock, and then waypoint. I've typically been doing uh, course lock. I just that point out there, and I want it to fly true and straight in that direction. So I'm going to tap course lock. And you see I've got hyperlapse and course lock are kind of in that amber color now. And then the word course lock, I want to tap on that. There we go. There we go. It brought up the next window. And that's where I start making choices. On the far left, it's two-second intervals. So every two seconds, it's going to take a picture. Then the length of the hyperlapse when it's done is set to five seconds. So I'm going to change that. And then my drone speed is going to be just 1.1 miles an hour. So that's a travel speed. So I'm going to tap on five second length and that'll open up the next window or use it like a slide bar. And I'm just going to slide it to the left. And we're going to do a 20 second hyperlapse. So tap on that. And now if I tap on the little lock icon, there we go. And you can see that the lock closed and it also changed amber. So all of these things that you, when you select them, they change colors. And then back over on the start stop button again, the red circle, you're ready to go. And uh, when you tap it, it's going to start its flight. So let's go ahead and do that now. And it's on its way. And then the next thing I want to do is just do a quick check. I can see that the picture count is going up. It's going to take 500 photos to do the hyperlapse. The flight's going to take a little over 16 minutes. I always like to check that against how much battery life I've got. You can see I've got a little over 35 minutes of battery, 84% right now. And... My altitude is uh, consistent with where I set it. Uh, my distance away, you can see that's decreasing as it is now flying back towards me. And it's just taking pictures. And the lower left is the box. You can see the track that it's taking. You can see the green dot is the start position. And when it gets close to the end of its hyperlapse, you'll see a red dot begin to come into view. And that's where, of course, it's going to complete its hyperlapse. So at this point, we're just monitoring the flight, being sure that all the numbers look good and everything is just moving along accordingly. I didn't talk about the actual photo setting. It's in Pro, and the two things that I like to leave in Auto is the shutter speed. You can see it's 1 over 20, and you can see my white balance is also automatic right now at 6100. I personally like to leave those so that as the sun comes up, it's getting brighter. The uh, Kelvin, the white balance setting is going to adjust and if the shutter speed needs to change, again, uh, for the light setting, it's going to do that as well. My f-stop is the same. Uh, you can see uh, these other things are, are in a manual mode. So I'm going to just uh, keep an eye on the drone, keep an eye on my numbers here and uh, drink on the cup of coffee I brought with me. So we're at the latter part of the hyperlapse now. You can see we've got oh, just under two minutes left on the flight. It's taken 450 pictures now and you can see my distance away from me is 90 feet. I mean, it's basically, you can see the lower left. 
I can look straight up and see the drone. And then the little red dot now, as I mentioned earlier, is coming into view. That's the point, that's the end of the uh, hyperlapse flight. I've got just under uh, 16 minutes of flight left. I'm at 44% battery. I've got a minute of flight left to do the hyperlapse. And it's going to pop up in a moment here, you know, hyperlapse complete, ready to make a video. And it'll go through that little sequence where it'll actually make the video for you. What you end up with is a folder that is your video and then another folder called hyperlapse. And it's going to have, in this case, it's going to have 500 pictures in it. This is a lot of fun to do. If you've never tried it before, go out and do some hyperlapse flights. The difference between time-lapse and hyperlapse, time-lapse, you're still just taking a series and the hyperlapse is that you're in motion. So we're wrapping it up now. There's my creating video. And we're basically done. So I'm going to go ahead and hit return to home. Actually, since it's straight over my head, <laughs> I'll just do a manual landing. So what I like to do, again, I like to always take video when the drone is in the air. So I'll tap that little arrow above the start stop. I'll scroll back down to video. Go ahead and hit the start button. And, you know, I think before I actually bring it down, I'm going to take a little bit of video of where the sun's at right now. I'm going to try to reframe that shot. Well, that's pretty with the sun streaking across the water like it is. If I zoom in just a little bit, again, I can play with this now and just get some additional video shots. I want to take still pictures. Another thing that I personally like to do is I like to shoot a lot of video and then out of that on my uh, editing program, I can actually do snapshots. So if I see a particular like th this right here, I love this picture where the water, uh, the sun is streaking across the water. I'm going to get some still shots from this part of the video. Now I've got 12 minutes of battery, 35%. I'm going to go ahead and just let this go, run it down a bit. This is just beautiful sunrise. But we'll bring it down now. You can see I'm sitting in a cul-de-sac here. Plenty of room. I've got power lines out around the edge, but plenty of room to come down and land.
I appreciate you coming with me this morning. Thanks for following Magnus Drones, and if you're a subscriber, thanks for coming along again this morning. I hope you'll like and subscribe to my channel. Hit that all bell, and that way you'll be notified when I make new videos.